Yeah, yeah, sure. Snapshots are back, and even more so, the bundle, the beautiful baby, has been so many years, is finally here. But instead, we kick off today's snapshot video in the dead of night because a gigantic, game changing change is finally here. Give ourselves a little bit of night vision and look around for a minute, and I don't really see too much going on. But inside of that chamber, and I've been testing this for a little bit of time, inside of that chamber, there are bats. So in today's gigantic mega whopper of a snapshot, we're going to dive into it here together. Tap like before you forget. Uh, bats. Uh, bat spawning has been changed. You see, previously, Minecraft's smallest, most unused feature of all time, the spawn of this guy was limited to below Y63. In a world to post a 1.18 caves and cliffs update with caves and cliffs that go way higher than the ocean level, I mean, it just makes sense to open up a bat spawning across the world. So how this is going to work, pretty straightforward. If the area is dark enough for a bat to spawn, then the bat will be able to spawn. That could mean, theoretically, on the surface, inside of some kind of room you build, or quite literally anywhere. Okay, all right, let's address the skin. It's been weeks on weeks on weeks on weeks on months, actually, of a dry desert of no Minecraft snapshots, but oh, it doesn't matter because today's snapshot change log. <sighs> Look, guys, I'm so excited about this. I can't even talk correctly. Today's snapshot change log, alongside literally 200 exactly bug fixes. Um, Let's just jump right in. Crafting table. We place that buddy down. We slide into the crafting table with one single piece of leather and one single piece of string. And oh my god, it's beautiful. And it's definitely warmer than it ever was before. That's a new texture. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this has been into the making. The changelog even takes note of it. It has been into the making since 2020. The world was so different back then. Maybe not, definitely not better, but different. All right, this is insane. Now, if we take the bundle and I right click on something like I used to, it actually swaps. They've completely swapped and flipped up the controls of the bundle. Instead, you're going to left click on the bundle to insert an item. If I right click on the bundle, once I have an item inside of it, then I'm going to take it out. Now let's go ahead and do maybe say a little bit of scavenging because the bundle after all it's like for early game inventory management with such an affordable in fact way more affordable than ever before recipe I mean they listened with just one leather and one string you could make this easily on day number one anyways inside of the inventory with the bundle I hover over something and right click on it and it goes inside of the bundle right click on another thing and same old deal more and more things will slowly start to queue up inside of the bundle if I can't put something in it like the bundle is too full listen Mm-hmm, ah, yes, the sound design is on point again. Now, uh, take a seat, take a seat. When I show you this new UI here, you're going to be floored because the new UI, oh my god, that's good looking. Look at how nice that is. Now, if I go ahead and, uh, let me see if I get this right. If I right click on the bundle and hold down, no, I definitely didn't have it right. <laughs> All right, if I hold down shift and right click on the, okay, that will that move to the hot bar? All right, well, if I use the bundle, oh, that, that threw everything out. <laughs> okay, uh, always I love diving into new Minecraft features because, I mean, it's like a learning curve, right? I get, I don't know how to do this stuff. Bundles. There's brand new controls right here. The controls have changed. Use left click to put an item in the bundle. Right click to remove it. When the tooltip is visible, use number keys and the mouse to select different... Uh, aha. All right, so menu stacking. This is the first time this has ever happened in Minecraft history, but inside of the bundle right here, if I scroll, there we go. It's so intuitive. If I scroll and let's say maybe select like, I don't know, the poppy, then I go ahead and right click on it. The poppy is pulled clean out of the bundle. The order that the items are in inside of a bundle does not matter anymore. That means for real this time, you could actually use a bundle for inventory management, like condense a bunch of stuff down into one spot, place it down, and then just scroll through and take out whatever you need. Now, the bundle's capacity here is still going to be only one stack of items. A stack of items is defined differently for every different type of item. For example, cookies, they stack in 64. That's a full stack. On the other hand, one single netherite sword, that's a full stack of swords. Something like snowballs, they stack in 16. Well, then 16 is a full stack. I don't know. You tell me uh, about this. I'm sure we're going to be talking about the bundle quite a bit more in the next few weeks. Maybe should they reconsider this one, at least when it comes to different tools, like say three tools or maybe four tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. multiples of four, that's a good number. Maybe four different tools up to them can go inside of the bundle at a single time. Ah, you know, though, it just feels so surreal that the bundle is actually here and like in the game, kind of partially in the game. It's weird, though. It only seems to have one texture. 
It used to have multiple. Now, I would love to write my love letter to the bundle all day long today, but we've got a lot to talk about. Special little thing. If there's anything you'd like to see more of in this snapshot, then request it down below. I'm going to make a follow-up part, and I'm probably going to make it on whatever you guys want to see the most. Next up, beautiful, beautiful banner patterns. Look at how good they look. They popped up inside of this video that I posted like two weeks ago, Minecraft preview, and they've made it over to Java. Ooh, it's toilet paper. Uh, but I mean like toilet paper in a nice and warm, loving way, right? Like creeper face toilet paper. Who doesn't want to... Wipe with that? Okay. I just... Let's move on. Back on a main menu. This is the first snapshot for this new version. One big thing that I forgot to say that isn't going to be what you think I'm going to say. Experiments. The bundle is technically still its own experimental toggle. Um... Minecarts? Uh... Redstone? Villagers. <laughs> Not the villagers. <laughs> All right, so next up, we should talk about the change that surely, definitely, isn't going to get anybody heated in, in, in a big debate. No, definitely not redstone. All right, so in the world of redstone, inside of this snapshot, we've got some different updates happening. First things first, redstone, when powered, will only update a block if the redstone dust would power the block. So in other words, like to be clear here, not that the redstone dust would have ever powered that copper lamp, but that copper lamp, it's not going to be triggered by any kind of block update here. Because I mean, clearly in this situation, the redstone dust would be sending the power over to that copper bulb and not copper bulb number A right here. Again, not that the situation would ever work. It's just kind of like the easiest way that I could think of to show this one off. Redstone powering is now going to be completely different here. So for this little experiment right here, we can go ahead and set up two pistons like this. If I were to power this in the middle, which piston is going to push forward? That's basically going to be randomized. That time it was that one, that time it was that one, that time it was... Okay. Yeah. It took a minute, but there is a little bit of randomization there. You see it? However, now, if I put the power source closer to something, then whatever thing that power source is closest to is going to get power first every single time. No randomization at all. Doesn't matter how many times I flip that lever, the piston on the left right there is going to extend. On the other hand, if I flip this over to the right right here, then the right piston is going to extend every single time. On the other, other hand, the original situation that we had, if we have the thing that is triggering the power equidistant, meaning same number of block spaces away from whatever that thing is, then you're going to get that whole randomized thing. Oh, look, it is flawless this time. Where were you like one second ago? Uh-huh. All righty. So redstone changes. They're all experimental. I can't stress this enough. And we have developer's notes. I don't remember this ever being a thing on the change logs, but I kind of love it. A little bit of a developer's note on redstone randomness is not usually wanted they're trying to go ahead and make this make a little bit more sense this screenshot below aka the experiment that i just ran that the devs are now stealing from me and putting on the change log yeah it's it's kind of showing it off related to this redstone stuff right here and it's probably gonna do you guys a little bit more justice if i just show you the change log you can read it so i don't like butcher it and make it more confusing but the order in which a line of wire changes let's say we have a line of redstone dust right here on that line of redstone dust is pretty long here i have a power source right here i go ahead and like that the order at which the redstone dust changes the thing closest to wherever the power source is is going to change with air quotes around it first even though graphically visually everything's turning on at the same time this one is changing first ah now this whole word change that i'm using here aka block update now, basically this redstone wire that is changing right here well these blocks right here if they would get a block update totally wouldn't in this situation but if they would they would get a block update before say this block right here because it's so far away from the power it all kind of goes back to this whole like experiment right here that i was just showing you where the power is coming from and which one's going to be powered you know this is really interesting i wouldn't have seen it coming not from a million miles away even if you led me to that destination with a line of redstone dust i just would have never seen any of this in the snapshot god dang it looks like these next couple of months leading up to 1.22 are going to be interesting with three experiments Three experiments are beautiful, but before we take a look at the third experiment, let's take a look at the focus of Minecraft 1.21, the trial chamber, because we have updates. I've been waiting for this change to hit Java for weeks and weeks and weeks, but the trial chamber has quite a few changes inside of it, and these changes, they include brand new components, brand new rooms, new traps, oh, and even more. The breeze. Uh, first up, there was a little bit of breeze cheese method where you could essentially run up on the breeze, be really close, and it would just cancel its attacks and never try and attack you. Well, the attack still definitely cancels, and it tries to find a farther spot. But if it's trapped and it can't really find that farther spot, as you can see right there, it will still attack. Well, this will all amount to very subtly, but still definitely the case, the breeze will be a little bit more challenging in combat now. 
Now, uh, speaking of in combat, while you're running around the trial chamber, maybe even this time if you're a little bit more clever and you bring a bundle with you, clearing up your inventory. Well, if you're a little bit forgetful and you only brought the bundle that's on your shirt, well, no big deal because we have a brand new component here. The hopper barrel combination is real. Essentially, around this structure before, you would have found random chests sitting there that you could drop your items into if your inventory was a little full. Well, all of those random empty chests have been removed and instead replaced with a hopper barrel combo. It's essentially the same thing, like you run up and drop items inside of it. You're not going to find loot inside the barrels ever. But it's still pretty cool to see. Mm, yes, and now the one that I've been waiting for. Let's see if we can find any of the brand new encounters or traps inside of the structure. Right off the bat inside of this one, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like it. Structure number two, I did a quick look and it's not here either. But oh baby, structure new metal trace and here we are. Good luck or <laughs> maybe bad luck. All right, so this is one that I showed off in a short right here, but it is deadly and it is maybe what stair spike is. Right here, this is just a random staircase. If I walk down here and look down, oh boy, that looks a little bit dangerous. If I go ahead and maybe just say plummet myself all the way down, then ooh, if I was in survival, that would have been no bueno. That's a point to drift zone right there. We got a little bit of ladder leading us back up, but right here, it doesn't even matter. You, you gotta like remove the block right there to get out of the trap. And I guess that block too. Now, this little trap right here, uh, it is in a random hallway that will have a little bit of loot at the end of it. So it's like, so it's like, if you figure it out, you're not rushing, being a little cautious. Maybe it was worth it. But oh, I love that one so much. Encounters, new structure components, you keep them in mind. We're going to circle back around to them at some point in the future video. For now, let's move on. Item rarity and another change that made its way over to Minecraft Bedrock a couple of weeks ago. Item rarity has been adjusted over here on Minecraft Java and I believe is in parity with Minecraft Bedrock and what's going on right now. And now after this video, if you'd like to see a full list of all of the items that have been changed, check out this one. I'll leave a card on screen, but a couple of notable ones that are bigly changed. First up, the Elytra, which I don't think I've ever seen this cape like that, at least in game, but the Elytra is now epic rarity. Same with the dragon head and the silence armor trim epic rarity is the most rare item in the game or the most rare category of items and yeah, yeah i mean I it kind of makes sense especially for silence that thing is tricky golden apple the golden apple has been demoted to just plain old common now i guess it's because maybe it's like you could craft it meanwhile this one it's rare now funnily enough the changelog said they increased the trident's rarity but i swear there was a change in 1.21 maybe i'm having like uh early onset disease i swear in 1.21 they made this thing epic rarity or whatever but now it's yeah the blue color which is kind of fitting you know Kind of a cool one here, the Snipper Egg. The Snipper Egg now has a special rarity, which, by the way, there's some bugs in the snapshot. I couldn't see my hand for a second. It was freaking me out. And speaking of uncommon, we have uncommon on uncommon on uncommon. There are so many different uncommon ones, including a lot of discs. Let's move on. Player safety. Okay, the snooze fest of changes here today, um, but I guess maybe essential or whatever. You go ahead and pause the video right here if you want to read them, but you know. All right, uh, look, this is my YouTuber apology. I messed up. I shouldn't have done it. Just screwed up. I didn't think about it, but I should have put this with the redstone ones, but <laughs> whoa, whoa, right off the bat, whoa. Ah, uh, snapshot season is always my favorite season of the year, but brand new redstone torch model. Place it down in the world and Whoa, it's way more chunky and blocky than ever before. Look at how good that looks. That looks amazing. Now, as you can probably see, it still gives off a little bit of light. I don't think they changed any statistics or anything with it, but like, whoa, it's just a brand new model. That looks so good. Please do that to the normal torch. Yeah, so if you were wondering, the normal torch is same old, same old. The soul torch as well. I guess maybe if you want to like, say, lead the classic one, leave that torch alone. But this looks like 2024. Ah, uh, heck, you're going on 2025, baby. It just looks so good at least the soul torch please but wow look at how good that looks you place it on the side of a block right here if you were curious yeah uh-huh look at how good that looks that's amazing in the world of listen changes listen Oh, it sounds so good. Please, please, please. That's such a good sounding block. Allow us to have a different block with that sound. Probably not copper grate because, I mean, it sounds coppery, right? But why not? Maybe an iron grate block. Like you make it with the ingots, like the copper grate or whatever the block. I don't know. 
Oh, but we could like get that sound in survival. Come on, iron grate. Like Sabrina, please, please, please. And while we're talking about textures and everything like that, we have a bunch of texture stuff, including some shader changes right here, post-process effect definitions, and yeah, those beautiful, the brand new redstone torch models. They're so good. Now this texture stuff, it actually goes on and on and on. Like today's chainsaw, there's a lot here. This is crazy. Legitimately, I don't think there has ever been a snapshot that is so big that isn't for like a new major release, like the first 1.21 snapshot or whatever. This stuff is insane. All right, so next up, I'd like to take another look at experimental changes. Just as a reminder, if you want to check these out in your world, you need to enable this experiment. If your world is created already, you cannot enable it. Minecarts. Minecarts inside of this update have gotten some experimental changes. Okay, so first up, I propose maybe some updates to the rail texture, like they did the redstone torch right there, make it a little bit more 3D. I feel like it's time, right? Like, make that pop up a little bit. Anyways, for my first change of the day, all we're going to need to do is set up a simple, small course here and have it make a turn maybe have another power station at the other end so we can bounce back and forth when i place this minecart right there check that out when you place it in the rail it kind of like bounces up and down a little bit differently i suppose maybe let's get this one out of the way real quick here but let's say i had a rail line right here and then inside of this dispenser i was queuing up a whole bunch of minecarts then let's say i went ahead and powered this the dispenser will drop the minecart down now that's fine but unlike before if there's a minecart too close to the dispenser it just won't really try and place the minecart down. This failure to place is going to happen if there's a minecart on the block or partially on the block. When this error happens, the dispenser will just spit out the minecart. All right, so check this out. Place the minecart down, power myself, go on the rail, and... All right, my POV didn't change, but there's a catch. Pause the game. Options, accessibility settings. Scroll around in here until we find something with a minecart. Rotate with minecarts. Turn that on. All right, so tucked inside of the accessibility settings. Check this out. Oh, it turns with the minecart now. It turns with the minecart now. When you turn, your, your POV changes uh, with the minecart. Wow, that's crazy looking. What does it look like in third person, though? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yup, that's pretty wild. Interesting that it's just an accessibility setting and defaults to off, but... Oh, uh, wow, the change of all time. It's here. <laughs> Okay, so this is crazy. Game rule, minecart max speed. By default, this is 8. Uh, we can now go ahead and change this all the way up to 1,000. Okay, so you know how minecarts work. Previously, you know, there was like a little booster. You do like, I don't know, three rails or whatever, then you basically have max speed. That would mean if I'm in a minecart, you know, and I hit this rail right here, then I go ahead and boost up, and, you know, I'm like... Uh, a little bit faster. Well, with that max speed rule set to 1,000, that means I could use my minecart system and move uh, potentially up to literally a 1,000 blocks per second. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, that's quick. That looked so quick. But maybe not quick enough. Let's add some more power. Then let's go ahead and get on this thing, and I don't know what this is going to look like, but... Oh, yep, that was insane. I mean, it was so short. Very short-lived journey, right? But... I definitely sped up. Hold on, I have an idea. So theoretically here, I should be able to just boost myself on a continuous loop, right? Like if I maybe get rid of that stop station right there, go ahead and go like this. This might be a terrible idea on camera, by the way. Ah, uh, yes, but theoretically, I should be able to jump on this minecart. Ah, uh, it's getting survival. Just be a little more immersive, right? Jump on this, and I have a loop right here, so I should speed up, and I speed up, and I... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, look away from the screen right now, guys. Uh, but it works. I'm going, <laughs> like, uh, a little bit quick. Okay, that's that's enough of that. It definitely works, though. Maybe the better way to show this off would have been just let the minecart do its own thing. Yeah, that's definitely the, the better way to show that off. <laughs> the minecart is speeding up to, like, eventually a thousand blocks per second, I think. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty trippy, man. That's insane. Now, another crazy thing that the minecart is going to do here is it's going to jump a little bit better. So this is kind of actually perfect. If I maybe set that up and I have that, I think that should do a jump right there. Let's see, maybe pick it up a couple of blocks later. I don't know how this is going to work out. I haven't tested it yet. And for the heck of it, maybe we'll try and like jump up a block like that. Uh, again, I don't know if it's really going to work, but we'll see. We'll go ahead and acquire quite a bit of speed with this minecart too. But anyways, uh, oh, it worked. It jumped so much better. It went so quick, but it, it worked. Let's test it one more time right here. Just a simple jump, but it goes up and catches so easily. You know, I bet I could make a almost continuous loop thing. Solid block right there. I have a powered rail on the jump now. That's going to go and jump up. Oh, this is so fun. This is the most fun Minecraft update of all time. It speeds up. It jumps. Oh, it's seamless. It's smooth. The turn, it takes it so well. Wow. Minecarts are... I mean, they did it. 
Now, all of these minecart changes are all experimental changes. Uh, they might uh, not make it into the game, so don't get your hopes up too much. But, yeah, they know that some of this stuff might break contraptions here. So, yeah. Also, the attention to detail with this one... Chef's kiss right here. No rail grinding sounds are played if a minecart is flying through the air. Nice. Hold on. And they'll tilt a little bit better when they fly in the air, too. So let's see. There's a... Okay, it's going too quick. Let me just go ahead and slow this back down. Before we move on, let's see if we can see what they're talking about when it comes to those visual moves. Here's the minecart right here going a little bit more of a realistic speed. It's going to turn. It's going to go. Max speed is eight. It's going to go up and... Whoa. That was smooth. Loop that back one more time. Oh, that was smoother than, like, Silk Touch. That's crazy. Mm, yeah, so big snapshot. I can't remember if I mentioned to you guys that this is a quite large, ginormous even snapshot. So I want to wrap it up today with a little bit of aquatic changes right here. First things first, the dolphin. And a thing that I didn't know wasn't a thing. There are baby dolphins in the game now. I, I genuinely didn't realize that wasn't a thing on Minecraft Java. What I'm curious about here is how in the world would I say acquire a baby dolphin? Like if I give you that, then you want to like swim away, right? Maybe if I do the cooked cod? No, 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 no. You just want to swim away. That's definitely a new sound though, right? Maybe it's like salmon. Maybe I could give you salmon. Um... No, I don't think that's doing anything. You all just want to swim away from me. Uh-huh. So I propose another change. Maybe like the raw cod will go ahead and let us breed the fish. But if we were smart and cooked the cod, then it really loves the meal. So it goes and leads us to the ocean treasures, right? Another new baby mod that is in the game now is the baby glow squid, the baby squid. This kind of came out yesterday and everyone started getting hyped, but yeah, they're in the game now. Unfortunately, there is no way to breed these mobs. Again, I propose maybe like cod or something. Let us breed the squid with cod because then you could actually make a squid farm if you went through the effort, which would be so cool. And better our gang, you're not so cool anymore. You quit that flexing energy and that attitude. I don't care about it. Salmon, it comes in all different shapes and sizes now. That means in the river. Look at how large that salmon is. I didn't modify this thing or anything. Send that boy to the water. Look at how large that is compared to a squid. Oh, what? Yeah, there's size variation on the salmon now. When you find a salmon in the wild, it's just going to be like different sizes. You have the classic one. Sometimes you have gigantonormous ones. Now, my question here is if I take this buddy out. Okay, that's like one salmon. Maybe let's just... Well, I guess it, one salmon is one salmon, right? Maybe we shouldn't multiply it, but... I don't know. I don't know, man. That's pretty crazy. I can't believe how large this snapshot is. Minecraft's future, oh, it's looking spicy. So you better believe it. Over the next couple of weeks, it's going to be exciting. Lots of new content to dive into. It would make my day and warm my heart greatly if you decided to join me on this big journey. Tap the like button. Subscribe for more videos. Down in the description are all of my socials, my Instagram, IRL. It's been me, Waddles, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> man, what a great day.